The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. Talking about the, uh, the dramatic win for the Eagles this past weekend in North State. Uh, I thought it was a great win for our entire program. Uh, all phases of the football team played extremely well. Offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, really extremely proud of our defense and special teams uh, providing uh, turnovers and uh, special teams providing a, a, a touchdown. And now, Coach, we, uh, we come to this. Um, you're now playing for a chance for a share of the uh, BAC title. Mm -hmm. um, I guess no one didn't think that in your first year we'd be doing this, but just talk about you know this, having this chance uh, you know, just to play for a share of the title. Uh, extremely proud of the football team and, and where we come from. Uh, we have our ups and downs throughout the course of the year, uh, not finishing games, uh, you know, got behind a little bit in UNC Charlotte and, you know, had to overcome that adversity. But what it shows, not only for our seniors, but for our program is that we've been able to overcome some adversity. These seniors, they're now in their third head football coach, and I'm just proud of the way they've overcome. And that's the true test of a champion is how they, you know, persevere through adversity. Mm -hmm. Yes, senior day. So, uh, so I guess that uh, you know you have a senior day this this coming Saturday against a, a, a rival opponent. Just, just talk about the emotions that they can go into that. Extremely high. You know, anytime you play a team from right up the road, 45 minutes, uh, you know, you know, our, our guys are ready. I, I can't express that enough. Not only are they ready because it is, it's a rival game, but they're also ready because it is for a championship. Uh, we put ourselves in a position, uh, this is where we want it to be toward the end of the season, to have a chance to win a MEAC championship, and, uh, you know, we're here. You know, a lot of people are kind of excited around here. Um, you know, you took some shots yesterday of some of the guys doing service at McDonald's and everything. And, right. And so have you heard, you know, now that this game is here, you know, you won the homecoming, that was big. Mm -hmm. But have you heard now that uh, now you're playing for a MEAC and you've got this opponent, right. what the people have been saying about playing this opponent? Oh yeah, you know already the Eagle Eagle Aggie Classic is, is really big, but now you put added bonus onto it by playing for a championship, and that's where you want it to be. Uh, you know our guys are, are in tune, they're focused. I looked at the injury report yesterday; there really weren't very many guys on injury report, so we're going to have everybody locked and loaded this week for practice, and uh, you know that's where we want to be. You know, Coach Broadway used to you know coach here, and, mm -hmm. you know he he beat you know A and T, so I guess I would say that he probably have a know how to get those guys on edge to, to play this game. What do you need to do to say to get your guys on edge to kind of you know, be disappointed? We're going to kind of keep that in house. We got some motivational things we're going to try to do this week to, to really get our guys focused and, and motivated. But I think just the rivalry of, of you know, those guys were recruited by A&T uh, and vice versa. Some of our guys were recruited as well. So, you know, you don't have to say a whole lot because they understand the magnitude of this game. And being having championship implications as well, I think they understand that, you know, to get that ring, to get that trophy, uh, to be recognized as a, as a conference champ, that's a special thing. And conference champs go down in history. So a chance to make history, to, to be the top 25 opponent, uh, and, and to make history as far as, you know, win a MEAC championship, that's big for our program. So that when you look at the Aggies, uh, you know, offensively and uh, defensively, what do you see in them that, uh, that may uh, give you, cause you for uh, concern? Very well disciplined football team. Uh, I don't see a lot of kink in the armor, as I should say, uh, offense, defense, special teams. They're very sound in all phases of the football uh, team. Um, offensively, obviously, you know, their running back is one of the most uh, explosive players that we've seen all year. Defensively, their front seven and also their secondary uh, is very disciplined, very sound. And special teams, they do a great job of being fundamentally sound and not doing any things to beat themselves in special teams. So we're going to have to do a great job of, of uh, making sure that we don't do any things to beat ourselves in this football game. You know, your special teams have been pretty good too. You know, had a block punt against uh, Hampton. You had another block punt last week and everything. So just talk about your, your special teams and the way they've uh, come along here to make it, you know, sort of like a uh, complete uh, right. team. I think they've been playing solid the entire year, but I think these last two weeks uh, versus Hampton and versus Norfolk, you've really seen them be special, as we like to say. Uh, they've came up with some scores uh, in our punt block team, and also, too, in our kick out, in our punt return game, we've been doing some really good things all year. So, uh, you, know, you know, we're starting to be reckoned with as well. You know, we're no slouch in the special teams area also. With a big game like this, how do you keep these, these young men, I guess, even-keeled? Because, again, you don't want to get too high, mm -hmm. too quick in this one. 
Well, I just think they got to come out. They want to play with some passion. They want to play with some energy and, uh, you know, just stay the course. You know, we talked about that entire year. Uh, we've had games where we came out kind of flat. I would rather them come out, you know, excited and high than and flat. But uh, we just got to do a great job of making sure they understand the magnitude and what's go and what we represent uh, in this football game. Uh, it worries me in a good way. You know, I'm, I'm hoping they come out and they see their faces, their families, people that have invested uh, a lot in, in their in their future for the last four years, and they want to you know go out on a high note. So I'm excited about Senior Day. I'm looking forward to meeting some of the parents as well before and hopefully after the game. When you started this journey here, did you did you think that by week 11, 12, that or here in late November you'll be playing for a uh, a chance to? Be well, there was some doubts along the way, but, but I, did, I will tell you this. You know, when we started, you know, I wanted to come here and I wanted to compete for a championship. That was always my intentions, and, uh, and I'm glad these guys have, have bought into the vision of going out there and compete for a championship because, uh, you know, that's what we practice. That's what we that's what we pray for. That's what we do every day. It's everything. All our goals is for a championship, and that's what we put ourselves in a position to do this last game. So, Central will win this game. Uh, if we don't beat ourselves, we don't, can't turn the ball over. We have to control the line of scrimmage. Uh, and at the end of the day, you know, we got to score more points than the opponent. Coach, these, both of you guys are uh, tied atop the conference in turnover margin, plus 12, mm -hmm. and ranked fifth nationally. So uh, talk about what it is that your team does so well to turn the ball over, and how are you going to prevent A&T from doing that to you, knowing that that could be such a big momentum swing? Well, we do a good job as a defensive uh, unit. We do a great job of, of stripping the football. We, we do a great job of creating havoc at the line of scrimmage. And that's, one, that's a compliment to our defensive line, coaches and our defensive line. Uh, they stay after the quarterback. They're always putting pressure on, that, on those guys and, you know, just causing – confusion at the line of scrimmage. Uh, offensively, we have to do a good job of making sure we don't turn the ball over like last week, ball security, making sure our quarterbacks don't throw to guys that are double covered. So it's more so offensively, we got to do a good job of protecting the football. I don't think it's so much about what A&T does as so much as about what we do. And there are some uh, tickets still available out there, even though mm -hmm. they're going fast. There are some tickets available. What is your message out to uh, Eagle fans? Well, one thing about it is, you know, our young men, they feed off the energy of the crowd. The more people that we can have in O'Kelly Rick Stadium, the more people that we can have, you know, slapping hands as we come out the tunnel, uh, that's always going to be great for our, our team. So, you know, that crowd is going to be what thrives and what gets us over the hump. Do you look, do you, um, look at the crowd when you, uh, you're, you're at the game on, pro, you know, the start, I think? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I catch a glimpse. I'll, I'll probably catch more of a glimpse because it's senior day, so I'll be, you know, having some ceremonies at the beginning of the game. But uh, you can't help but to catch a glimpse every now and then. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.